Today I'm gonna to show you how to create a custom audience, customer list on Facebook through the Meta Business Suite, okay? This is a list that might be valuable to you if you're running any sort of advertisements where you wanna to stay top of mind in front of either maybe your clients or maybe a list of leads or maybe there's an area, a geographic area that you want to stay in front of and you have contact information for that. All of the above, if you have someone's first name and or either their email address and or phone number, we can take that list, we can take a spreadsheet, upload it back here into the Meta Business Suite, the back end of Facebook. Facebook will go out, attempt to find this subset group of people that you can now run targeted ads just to. So this is valuable for a number of different reasons. One that I really enjoy is just for brand awareness. If you work in a business where you rely on repeat or referral business and you just stay top of mind, this is incredibly effective because you can run these ads to these people and on average it might cost you anywhere from, for a dollar in advertising cost, you could reach roughly anywhere from maybe 100 to 200 to maybe 300 people for just one dollar, which in my opinion is, is fantastic ROI to just stay on top of mind keep staying in front of people and just grabbing their attention so I'm going to show you right now how to do that so let's jump into it first things first is you have to have your database your spreadsheet correctly formatted and, and properly aligned so I'm going to jump over here into numbers and what you can see here are separate columns of data sets we got first name, last name, email, phone number one, phone number two. In addition, you could add in, if you had someone's address, you could do city, you could do state, um, you could do country, that's another one, okay? Which most of us is gonna be US if you're watching this in the United States, okay? But what you need to do, the most important factor that a lot of people miss is that the first and last name have to be separate, it being separate columns. So if you haven't done that yet, you need to do that first. If you don't know how to easily do this and you have a big group of people, reach out to me. I know a formula that will allow you to basically separate out the first and last name into two columns really quick, okay? Next up, email, pretty straightforward. The other one I wanna hammer home is phone number, okay? You can see here the phone number is formatted in different ways for different rows. There's dashes, there's dots, right? There's parentheses, there's spaces. We need to fix all that because if you don't, all that data you upload is not gonna match and Facebook will not accept it. You can see here, there's certain formatting rules we have to follow per Facebook if we wanna find these people and run ads to them. And the one I wanna hammer home on is phone numbers. There's three ways to do this, either dashes or no spaces at all. And the other thing I wanna hit home on is you have to have the country code beginning in front of that phone number. So if you're in the United States, it's the United States phone number, we have to plug in the number one for that phone number. So I'm gonna show you real quick how I do this with massive, massive data sets, massive lists. This is obviously just a short example, but if you wanna do this on your own without my assistance, you would first wanna basically copy and paste the phone numbers into a new spreadsheet. So you see here, I'm gonna copy this, Command C, I'm on a Mac. Okay, I'm gonna do a new spreadsheet, Command V, okay. Next up, what I wanna do here is I now wanna remove all of the formatting for these, these cells. So I like to do what's called the find and replace tool. You can find it either whether you're on Excel or you're in Numbers or Google Sheets, but for me the shortcut is Command F, find and replace. You wanna find that. Now I just wanna start removing all of the characters that I don't need. So I'm gonna type in the dash, and I'm gonna click replace all. I'm gonna replace it with nothing, which just means remove it. So boom, dashes are gone. Okay, next up, let's remove the dots. Get rid of those, replace all. Next up, let's remove both of these. Gone. All right, see, just following the program. I also like to check to see if there's any spaces. I'll just plug in one space bar and also see, oh, you can see here there's some spaces in here. I just wanna remove all that because if that data's in there and it's incorrect, it's not gonna match up to these people. So we have to clean the data, okay? Now that I've removed all those special characters, I just have the phone numbers straight lined up. Now what I need to do is I need to add the country code to put in front of each phone number. This is how I do it, ready? I hit equal sign and then I'm gonna do the quotation symbol. Now I'm gonna do the number one for the United States of America. I'm gonna now do the quote symbol again. Next up, I'm gonna now press the and symbol, okay? Next up, I'm just gonna grab this cell and click enter. 
You can see here now it's a duplicate. So here's what I like to do is I like to just copy and paste this over phone one, phone two, because now I'm going to redo these and add the phone. I can drag this down so that it's going to cover all the phone numbers and the formula carries over. You can see that. Okay. Oops. Now next step is we want to do the same thing for the second column of phone numbers. If you have a second column of phone numbers, we're just going to repeat the process. And now we're going to drag this down. Same step. Okay. You can see here, there's just some ones in here. That's okay. What's gonna happen is when you upload this list, Facebook will just basically assume it's not a match and it's just gonna move on to the next cell for that data. The last step we need to do here is we need to now take this data that we've recreated. We now need to hard code that formula in there. So what I like to do is I like to do copy, command C or control C, depending on what device you're on. And then I wanna paste, okay? And I wanna paste special. I'll do this one by one, command C. Right click, I'm gonna go down, I wanna click paste, I don't see here, so I'm just gonna do paste, and I wanna paste the formula results. Okay, you can paste the formula results, you can paste the values, there's a number of different ways you can do it, but you just wanna basically hard code that formula in there, so now that it won't move when I copy and paste it back. So now final step is we take that data with all the properly formatted phone numbers. We're now going to copy and paste it back in to the original spreadsheet. So I'm going to go back over here into this spreadsheet and I'm going to go like this and paste. Okay. You see that? Boom. Command V, control V. Now it's properly formatted. The reason why I took those phone numbers and I removed them from the spreadsheet is because if I did the find and replace tool within this spreadsheet, it would start to tap into the other rows, the other columns, excuse me, of data that we don't want to mess with, right? I don't want to mess with the emails. I don't want to mess with the other data pieces. So that's how we have to do this. Okay. Just got very technical there. Again, if you have any questions on this, reach out to me. I can help you. Now that we have the spreadsheet finalized, we're going to go ahead and save it. So we want to save it. We want to export it to a CSV file. So I'll just call this Jared test file, save as CSV on my desktop. Now you need to go and upload this in Facebook. If you haven't already set up your meta business suite, you need to watch my first video on how to set up your meta business suite. That's going to be step one. Okay. Once your meta business suite is set up, you can get back to the meta business suite a number of different ways. You go to business.facebook.com and it can take you there. Or you go through Facebook, which I'm just going to show you. You go to facebook.com through your personal profile. Make sure you're under your personal account. You're then going to hit the menu button right here. You're then going to scroll down to ads manager. You could also click on meta business suite. There's a number of different ways to do this. Now it's going to pop you back to ads manager. It may still take you to the wrong screen. What I would look for is left hand side, the very last option, those three lines, all tools, go ahead and click on that. You're now going to see more options. Okay. You can click the ads manager. The goal though, where we want to get to is audiences and audiences. It could be anywhere in here. It could be one of your shortcuts up here. You can see here. I have it way down here under audiences. I'm going to click on audiences. Once audiences loads, you're going to see a couple of blue buttons. You can see here, create audience and we're going to do custom audience. Important step though. I need to back up. You need to make sure you are set up under the correct Facebook business account. You can see here when I clicked it, it defaulted to me to my personal account up top. The first option you're going to see are the business accounts. So I am actually not set up under my business account. It might do the same for you. Honestly, it's just a crap shoot on whether or not it does it. So I would encourage you next step is to just make sure you're under your business account, which you should have up, set up. I'm going to click on mile high title guy. I've got a ton of business accounts as you can see. So I'm going to make sure I'm logged into the correct business account as well as the correct ads account. So now that this is load, now I need to make sure I'm set up under the ad, the correct ads account. So I'm going to go over here to this drop down, and you can see here, I have a lot of accounts for you. Probably that may not be the case. You may just be automatically on that page. But for me, I need to take two more steps and get into the proper ads account. Now you can see my custom audiences and you can create all sorts of custom audiences for various different reasons to target people. But again, I just want to focus on customer list. So now we're going to click on create audience, custom audience. Now this screen's going to pop up top right corner. We're going to click on customer list. We're going to click next. Now it's going to give us all these ways we can, we can match data sets. We're going to click next. 
Okay, now we're gonna upload that file that we just properly formatted. So here's my file, CSV document. I always like to name the document, whatever it is, right? Whatever, you know, Jared database. And I like to date it so that way I know when's the last day that I set this up, right? And that way, every so often as I build my database, I upload a new list. So now I click next. Now this screen's important. What's gonna happen now is you need to map each column to the data set piece that you're using to have Facebook find that piece of data. So what I mean by that is you can see here, some of the columns already got mapped. Email got mapped, phone number got mapped, country got mapped. Over here though, we gotta fill this data in, action needed. So first name, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go next to first name, I know it's the first name column. I'm gonna hit the drop down, I'm gonna choose first name. Next up, last name, same process, hit the drop down, choose last name. Okay, we're just gonna continue this process phone number with phone number, right? If we wanna insert city with city, we can. If we wanna insert state with state, we can, right? Same process. We don't have any data in there, so I'm just gonna ignore that. Now I'm gonna click import and create, I am done. If you've never done this before, you're probably gonna have to check a box, making sure you follow all of the rules. Make sure you follow all the rules that comply with wherever you are in the world, just so that you're not breaking any rules. Okay, now we're done, we're gonna click done. That's it, you now have the custom audience set up. Repeat the process if you have more customer lists you need to do. We just keep creating them. I like to have them segregated out if I have various different lists. That way I can pick and choose the lists that I want to run targeted ads to, which I show in another video. I'm Jared Larkin, milehightitleguy.com. Reach out to me. Any questions, this is my website. Follow along. Sign up for my monthly email newsletters if you'd like to learn more valuable marketing ideas for your real estate business. I also share different real estate tools, resources, marketing strategies for the real estate community. Check me out, milehighttitleguy.com, and we'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye.